Hello everyone. Today in this video session we are going to make a very brief summary of the unit 6, the firm in perfectly competitive markets within the scope of the course Introduction to Economics. First of all, I would like to start with the objectives of the unit. In this unit, you will be able to understand what a competitive market is. Uh, you will also be able to recognize the revenue curves of competitive firms. You will uh, also be able to analyze the profit maximiz maximization output decisions of competitive firms. At the end of the unit, you will be able to identify the profit of perfectly competitive markets. And at the end, you will also be able to understand why perfectly competitive firms make zero economic profit in the long run. First of all, let's start with what a market is. Of course, you can make several definitions of a market in a traditional sense, but in economics, a market is usually defined as an institution that facilitates and structures economic interactions among participants such as buyers and sellers. In the literature, based on certain characteristics and features, we can identify four types of market structures which are called as perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly and monopoly. And among them, our focus in this unit is the perfect competition and it refers to the market for the exchange of identical products in which there are many sellers and buyers all of whom have perfect information about the process and the outputs. Of course, there are some important steps and conditions for a perfect competition and we can list them as follows. First of all, there must be many firms in the market. Secondly, the producers and consumers should be well informed about the production process and the outputs. Thirdly, the firms produce and sell identical products in this market and there should be no restrictions for entry into and exit from the market to make it competitive. The profit maximization in a perfect competition can be conceptualized in that way as you see on your screens. In perfect competition, a firm's average revenue and the marginal revenue equals the market price. I mean the marginal revenue curve is also a representative firm's demand curve. When the marginal revenue equals marginal cost, the profit is usually maximized. And in perfect competition conditions, marginal revenue equals price, which implies that the profit maximization condition is MR equals MC and P. Thus, a competitive firm produces an output up to the point where MR equals MC. In the short run, of course, the firms can make a profit or suffer an economic loss. And in this sense, a positive economic profit creates an incentive and motivation to enter the market, whereas an economic loss can cause a firm to shut down or exit from the market in the long run. And in this process, the profit of a competitive firm can be formalized and understood in that way as you see on your screens. In this process, profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. As you may remember from your previous chapters and units, the total revenue means price times quantity and total cost is average total cost times quantity. So the equation indicates here that when the price of each unit input sold is greater than the average total cost, the competitive firm makes positive economic profit. As I told you before, in the short run, firms can make a profit or suffer from an economic loss. And this positive economic profit can create a motivation and incentive to enter the market, whereas an economic loss can cause a firm to shut down or exit from the market in the long run. In the long run, because of the free entry and exit, all firms in a particle industry make normal economic profit and in the long run equilibrium, no producer has an incentive to enter or exit. On the other hand, 
Competitive firms make zero profit in the long run because accounting profit is always greater than the economic profit according to them. By making zero profit means that the competitive firms still make positive accounting profit in the long run. And they think that even if they leave the market, they cannot do better than this. And that's why the accounting profit in the long run, they stay in the market while making zero economic profit. Of course, this session was just a summary of the unit six and we touched upon what a competitive market is. We also learned several elements regarding the profit maximizing output decisions of competitive firms. We also understood the profit of perfectly competitive firms and we identified the main reason why perfectly competitive firms make zero profit in the long run. Of course, this was just a summary of the unit and it will be a better idea to go over the content, to go over the chapter unit six about the firm in perfectly competitive markets to have a better and deeper understanding.